Welcome to the Rewire tutorial. Rewire technology was introduced by Steinberg and Propellerhead. This technology allows you to link two or more applications together. Or in other words, one application will be your host and another the slave. And as a result, you're able to control a few applications from a single point of control and then use them in the same project in real time. Applications launch first, work like the host. Of course, that's QBase in our case. Let's enable the rewire channels. On this computer, we've got Ableton Live installed and Reason from Propellerhead. Select Devices, Ableton Live. Of course, if you don't have Ableton Live installed, you won't have this option. Let's activate the first two channels. Double click here and rename the channel. The channel attract will appear in the project window and the corresponding channel strip will appear in the mixer panel. Let's do the same with Reason. Select Devices, Reason. Activate the first two channels. Double click and rename the channel. Now I'm going to launch Ableton Live and Reason. Let's check how they all work together. The transports on all three applications are basically linked together. You can use the tempo track in Cubase to control the tempo. If you activate the tempo track in Cubase and then afterwards change the tempo in a slave application, the tempo track in Cubase will automatically be turned off. Inside Cubase, you can treat rewire channels as basically regular audio channels. You can use inserts, adjust the EQ, apply automation, etc. Like you can see, the rewire channels don't have record and monitor buttons. You can render rewire channels into audio files. Select File, Export, Audio Mix Down. Select the file type. The resolution, the sample rate, And from the Output's drop-down menu, you can choose the Output Bus or Rewire Channel. Let's create a MIDI track. And from the Output drop-down menu of the MIDI track, you can choose a sound module from the Slave application, Reason in this case. This concludes our Rewire segment.